What's up sisters? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm coming with something a little bit different compared to what I usually do as far as like all my vlogs. Um, I just wanted to share with some of I wanted to share with y'all some of my favorite um, beauty products and today I'm touching on makeup and some of my favorite hair products that I'm currently using. Um, I wanted to bring, you know, do something, you know, a little different from the wave I've been riding with the whole pregnancy stuff. And, you know, since I'm feeling really good this week, I've been getting a lot more sleep. I'm not as congested at night and um, I haven't had any bad symptoms this week. And then plus yesterday I did get to see baby girl and get an update from the doctor on how everything is going. Everything is perfectly fine, y'all. She's doing good. I got to see her face, her features are starting to pop, and I'm starting to think she looks more like me than her dad. She has my nose, my cheeks. I don't know. I was, I'm just, really, it just really makes my day when I get to see her, and I spent, you know, majority of yesterday with her dad, and, you know, we was just on cloud nine seeing baby girl, and I just can't wait for her to come and for y'all to meet her. <sighs> it's feeling so much better. <laughs> compared to like my other weeks and so I just hope this continues um, comment below and let me know if y'all you know want me to do this if you don't want me to do this I'll stop but um, I just wanted to come through and share my favorite products with y'all and probably do it like on a monthly or bi-monthly basis you know it doesn't have to be every month but I'm gonna start with hair products it's only a little bit but little things so for my hair as you know, I wear protective styles definitely right now being pregnant. I don't got time to deal with my hair, so the main thing is to keep my scalp oiled and hydrated because I tend to leave my um, protective, style, protective styles in for um, a little bit over a month. And so it's very important to make sure your hair doesn't dry out underneath being braided up underneath the weave and everything. So starting off, um, something simple. I'm going to be talking about extra virgin olive oil. I don't know why I wasn't using this before, but I recently started using extra virgin olive oil again. And this is what I used to use all the time when I first went natural, and it kept my hair so hydrated. I love it. I love putting this on my scalp, and it's like a really thick, thick oil. And um, I usually just put it on my fingers and just run my fingers through each um, part of my braids and whatnot and massage it in. It's, it doesn't really, um, it's up to you if you really don't like the smell, but for me the smell is fine. Um, when I wash my hair and um, before I put my leave-in conditioner in, I always put this in to seal in the water or the moisture in my hair. And it's, it's, it worked really, really good. It kept my hair thick. I don't know if that really is what was happening, but I really like using extra virgin olive oil on my hair. It's my hair is like 4A, 4B, very very dry, more 4B texture. Um, so my hair dries out really fast, sucks in moisture really fast, and I feel like the olive oil kind of keeps that moisture in there. My next thing I kind of just started using this year is the black castor oil. I use this on my edges, definitely being having braids in. And crochet in and being pregnant you got hair is gonna shed a lot this may help I wanted to see if it helps definitely while I'm growing my hair out still still haven't decided if I'm cut or you know keep it I definitely want to get my hair shaped for sure um, I want to be ready or have that decision made before um, my photo shoot my maternity photo shoot in a couple of months so I'm just using this to help my edges like it so far. Now, to my super faves, talking about edges still. You know, I like to lay my baby hair down, my edges down, with my toothbrush, and I have two things I like to use, and one of them being is um, like an edge control, like paste or something, and right now, I'm using Carol's Daughter um, Edge Control Smoother. She used to have a different one, the macadamia one, and I think she stopped making that one and now I'm using the black vanilla. You can find it in like H-E-B or UV supply store or Target. And 
I love it. I'm actually out. I was scraping it, scraping it <laughs> to help lay down my edges. And my all time favorite hair gel for my edges, other than the um, edge control for my gel, because this helps me make my little hoops, little swoops and S swoops and stuff, which you've probably seen in the video and you've seen me use it for like um, coils on my natural sisters when my hair was short, is the Icy Fantasia Gel um, thick, and thick and Shine Styling Gel. It's the one with the yellow cap and it's the brown gel. And it, it has, you know, a combination of silk, wheat, keratin, proteins, and I just love it. It just works so well on my edges. It's awesome and not only that, um, when I we wanted to find my curls when they're short and do finger coils. This leaves such a great shine. It leaves such a great shine. I can run through these definitely when my hair is short and I want my curls to pop and all this stuff. But I don't use it for my edges now. My hair is too long. My hair won't do that anymore. So I just have to have it for my edges, you know? So that is it for like all my current hair products. I tend to switch up on my leave-in conditioners and shampoos and conditioners and deep conditioners. I don't have a favorite just yet. I haven't, my mind hasn't been blown by anything just yet, so I just try stuff here and there. If I find something, I will let you know. Now off to makeup. Majority of the stuff I'm showing, to, showing you today, I do have on besides, I think, my lipstick. It's totally different from what I'm about to share. Starting off with my foundation. I got two of them. Now I've been using Maybelline Fit Me, matte and poreless. I actually don't have this one on. I'm gonna share with you the one that I actually have on. But this is number 350, 335 Classic Tan. I tend to match my foundation to my skin, my neck, and my other area because my face is a lot lighter than the rest of my body. So I always go with, with a slightly darker foundation. So yeah. And I like this one. It's very affordable and you can find it in any grocery store and it's like runs about six or seven dollars it works really well it leaves a very very um matte finish if you have oily skin like me you want matte and it has pretty good coverage um i tend to not put too much on i like light coverage because i don't need a full coverage not for my skin and i don't like that feeling either but it's really light actually i think this is like in between medium to heavy coverage so yeah now my other favorite foundation right now is Anastasia Beverly Hills is that that's how you say it Anastasia Anastasia and she has a ton of different shades and I just had to have it you can contour and highlight with her sticks but this is the cool golden and this is what I have on today um, I got like I said the cool golden to match more so of my neck and body compared to my face if i was doing my face it would have been a, probably a lighter shade than this one but it has a matte finish a uh, satin matte finish and i really like it it's easy to blend onto my concealers and like what i used to highlight i started to use my um nars i have caramel and this one is to match my skin tone and to cover any dark spots i may have at the moment or Still any dark areas I have that this one is perfectly matched to my skin and then I have biscuit this one is for highlighting so after I put on my foundation and caramel concealer and whatnot I use this on top of that to highlight the nose underneath my eyes chin and forehead area my um, highlight will pop more when I use the lighter concealer so these are like a staple. I will not be changing my concealers anytime soon unless I just, no, no I don't think of NARS. It's so rich and creamy and blends so well and covers so well. My bronzers, I recently picked this up earlier this year around my birthday. This is Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Deep Tan Bronzer and I just, contour the spots that I need to need um, make everything chiseled my 
face is so round right now, definitely being pregnant and all this weight I've been packed on. I need this to help chisel out my face in. It actually smells pretty good. Most of our stuff smells like chocolate. For highlight, you may want to call this a bronzer too, but I don't know. I like to use it as a highlight. It's what I have on now. Any shiny stuff you see on my face, my lips, nose, cheeks, and the brow bone and chin. This is what I have on. I have on Gerard Cosmetics. It has some pretty nice ingredients in it, like a jojoba oil, which I like a lot. And this is Dorothy His Star Powders. Um, it's a really pretty color. I like to use highlights that are more on the golden side compared to that white silvery powder. I feel like it meshes well with my skin. It's just it's so radiant. I really, really like this. I don't even wear blush as much as I used to, but this is the only blush I would use. Like this girl at the MAC store matched this so perfectly. This one is Amber and Rose. Y'all probably heard me mention this before in one of my old makeup tutorials on my natural sisters. But this is so pretty. It has like, it's like a coral type blush and corals to me on melanin skin. It's beautiful. And it has like hints of gold sparkles in it. So, so pretty. Nice shimmer to it. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Um, my finishing spray, setting spray, Gerard's Cosmetics Slay All Day. I got this one in peach. And you can see it's almost gone. Kind of sad. I need to order some more. I have the lavender one too, which I haven't used yet. Let somebody borrow it. Spray it smells so good when you put it on, and it just makes all your stuff pop. My other favorite setting spray I would have included in this is Mac Prep and Prime. That works really well too. No smell, but it works really well. My favorite lippy, which I'm sad is almost out, is Mac Taupe. It's a matte color, A93. This color, I've had it on in many other videos on this channel. Um, I think my last video I did. And I love pairing this up with Cork, um, Max Cork um, Lip Pencil. My favorite lipstick color on me of all time. Right now I have on Gerard's Cosmetic, I think Aphrodite. It's a liquid lipstick. I've been using Tarte's Light Camera Flashes, the gold one, because they have a different one that's, I think, waterproof or something. But I've been using this pretty much over a year now. And my lashes are long and curly, but they're not thick. It gives a lot of volume to my eyes, so I really like this one a lot. Last but not least, my um, setting powder. I actually just got this in the mail a couple of weeks ago, but I fell in love with it and it's what I have on right now. And that's Craft Bean. Am I saying it right? But it's the banana cream pie. It has a very cashmere finish to it. And it just goes so well, but I've fell in love with it so far, so it's a current fave. I may find something different, but I really, really like it. Yeah, that's it for my current faves. And, and if y'all want me to continue to share some of my favorites, stuff comment below and let me know um, if you have any questions about anything else comment below let me know I also do a skincare version because that was all just makeup in here so I didn't want to put it all together because I didn't want the video to run too long but so I'll definitely share that with y'all next time um, I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for joining my lifestyle vlog channel and I will catch up with you guys later peace out sisters